Hi, I'm Tapu Javeri and uh, we are going to go through a few of my iconic images. I have photographed a ton of divas over the past 40-45 years. So uh, I thought I'd give you a little background to all these wonderful images I've taken. An icon uh, and an incredible woman. Uh, somebody who you see on the road but you wouldn't think she is amazing but in front of the camera she comes alive. And uh, we did a shoot with her, myself, Fifi, Harun and Nabila together created something called Barbara Kadabra in which we took Barbara and we changed her images to match those of Hollywood icons. So we had uh, Barbara as uh, Marilyn Monroe, as Louise Brooks, as Sophia Loren and others. And um, it was an amazing shoot and uh, Barbara is one of those people who when I photographed her, she told me, uh, I'm not a model, I'm an uh, actress, you just make a scenario and a director. Ban so that was it. All I needed to tell, to tell her was, you know, you're Marilyn Monroe, this is your story, and here you are. And she uh, fell into uh, the act and the pose immediately. So uh, that's Barbara and Barbara Kadabra. Photographing Madame Nujan was, uh, it was something on my bucket list and something I tried really hard. I had met her tons of times because she was a client of my father's and uh, I was a kid whenever she'd meet me. And every time I'd ask her, she'd have something else. At the end of her life, uh, I got the chance to photograph her for Extra Magazine. And uh, while we were photographing her, uh, she, had, she saw me and the first thing she said to me was, uh, Who are you? I said, I'm Hassan Javeri. I have a phone in those days. We had these huge mobile phones. So I called my father, and the first thing she snatched the phone from me and she said, Hassan, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. So that was my most iconic moment with Madam Nurjan. But uh, photographing her was such a pleasure. I photographed her with her granddaughter, Sonia, and uh, we. Uh, made Sonia look like Madam looked in old pictures. So it was epic and it was uh, wonderful. It was just, it was just the most amazing experience. And unfortunately, she passed maybe three months after the shoot. Photographing Farida Khanum, uh, an icon, was uh, a real treat. It was something I had to do for the government. They at one point decided that they needed to have an archive of people who are singing at that time or singers of the time. So I went to her house in Lahore and uh, I started photographing her. And she said, Main kya karu? So I said, Aap mujhe kuch ga ke de de. And uh, meanwhile, I think there was electricity went where it was load shedding. So we went out in her garden and we sat in her garden while she sang and I photographed her. And in those days, we didn't have digital cameras. So I think the film finished <laughs> 36 exposures later and she kept on singing. And it became dark and she said, You don't light any I said, No, I'm going to my personal concert. Hai. Photography is very good. So that was an amazing time. Uh, I have tons of uh, times with these uh, legendary artists, and you know, when you get them one on one, you really have a personal time with them, which is quite epic and amazing. I guess it's time for Mira. Mira is. Uh, an amazing person. She is really uh, quite wonderful. It's uh, always a pleasure to work with her. As a model, she is, uh, you know, not like other actresses. Actresses usually don't model well, so uh, Mira is an exception where that's concerned. And uh, I've had tons of times to work with her because she's a good friend also. And uh, as you all know, I have a video with her where she stutters through English and she does speak English even though in the video it didn't come out of that way. Uh, but uh, what uh, image I'm talking to you about is uh, something we did for a show called 15 by 4. There were four photographers and 15 celebrities photographed by four photographers at the same time. So it was a really interesting shoot where uh, every photographer was given maybe 15, 20 minutes with the celebrity and uh, we had to show in the end of the day how every artist looks at a celebrity or uh, a, a portrait in a different way. So when I think of Mira, I think of her as a glam person. So I decided to photograph her in what is iconically sexy, which is uh, man's white shirt so she wore my white shirt and uh, posed in it and that's the image which we have here 
which became controversial when we did it in the show, but uh, whatever, that was that. Photographing Samina Pizada was another one of those uh, iconic moments. Um, I went to Lahore to photograph her. I think it was a personality shoot for um, newspaper, Newsline or, uh, yeah, or Herald, one of the two. I can't even remember. I'm terrible at that. Anyway, so uh, for Samina, I had this idea. You know, I see her as this really romantic, uh, you know, pre Raphaelite beauty. So early morning, at, I think it was 5.30 in the morning in Lahore, we decided to go to a graveyard. I bought a few flowers on the way and we took her to this graveyard and the graveyard person didn't let her, us enter but Samina used her magic by telling them she was trying to um, practice on a role and get into the mood of this uh, some Christian man's uh, daughter and who's lost her father so the grave person who was in charge of the graveyard let us in. And uh, while the sun was rising, there was this really spectacular shoot where Samina, who looks so beautiful in these photographs, uh, was just, just she was just so, she was just so gorgeous. So it's, it wasn't very difficult to do that. So that was a fun time. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you uh, for being a part of this and letting me share all my stories with you. There's tons more, but uh, I think we can do with enough of this right now. So thank you. Love it.